So today we're gonna draw this picture. Now this is just my sample, but keep in mind I'm only using the primary and secondary colors for this. So you're gonna start out with your drawing. Now you don't have to draw something this complicated. I know this is a little complicated, but I like this challenge because I'm only using those primary and secondary colors. Okay, so you can draw the banana or an apple or whatever you want, just trying to create some neutral colors like we did with the cardboard box and, and um, the forms. So just like I did with those forms, I'm laying in a cool color in the shadow areas. So you can see me just looking at my picture, laying in the cool colors, just blur my eyes and look for the areas the light is not hitting. So I'm just using a blue right now. Now if you remember correctly, when we mix colors, when you mix a complement with another with its complement you get a neutral color okay, so keep that in mind as we start building now I'm coming in with a yellow where the light is hitting it where it's lighter on the, my photograph just a light layer of yellow all those spaces and I have two values light and dark now here's my orange so I'm coming back in with an orange and a red orange into all the areas that the light is not hitting eventually as I layer these it's going to become very brown and you can see on his belly it already started to get brown I'm not using any brown colored pencils or black colored pencils and I want you not to use black or brown just think of the areas in the shadows cool and then you layer some warms to make it neutral if you need to or brown or gray and then the areas where the light is hitting it stay a little warmer so you can see I'm building those colors. And then to really pop that light out, I'm going to give it some background. I'm gonna give it a nice dark background. It's kind of a neutral color. You can see it's a brown and there's the hay. I'm starting with, they're standing on some hay. I'm starting with some green and I added red to it. And you can see on that background where I added some oranges and blues and purples to kind of create a brown feel. And then go back in with some details. And this is my finished piece. It's really, very brown, very neutral where it needs to be because I very gradually layered my colors. You can see where I layered the colors very gradually in my sample. I want you to try this, no black, no brown, and you don't have to keep, you notice my pencil strokes were loose and rough and almost scribbly. So you, you don't have to make a smooth transition or a smooth pencil line. I don't care if you see pencil lines at this point. I just want you mixing these colored pencils.